Dominic, when you look at uh, the biggest concern for, for the Fed, what, where do Treasuries go from here? Do yields go uh, you know, above? Is it kind of capped at 3.5%? Can they go higher? It's very important to understand why yields are rising. <clears throat> and to be honest, I don't think most people do. Uh, the main reason why yields are rising <clears throat> is because of term premium uh, uh, rising. Term premium has been very, very low. Uh, and uh, it's a kind of risk premium in, in, the, in the market. It's the risk that in the end yields may have to go a lot higher. It doesn't necessarily reflect uh, the fact that uh, the Fed itself is being priced to become much more uh, aggressive as a sort of central scenario. So uh, there's, there's plenty of scope uh, for yields to, to continue to rise uh, uh, without, uh, without necessarily uh, suggesting the Fed is going to sort of overkill the economy. The the only concern that we have uh, is that when you increase term premium, risk assets tend to reprice to that uh, in a bad way. So risk assets don't really like term premium going this up. This is fabulous. A market giant like Constum with Spence of Akerlof, Stiglitz and Spence and information of 2001. We are addicted to what we see within the modern market data, the market medium. We all want to be like Dominic Constum. And yet all of your work is what we don't see out there. What does, what do we not see out there right now? What do we not see at Deutsche Bank? What do we not see at JP Morgan? What do we not see happening at Bloomberg Surveillance? Well, I'd say two things, Tom. One, one is, you know, the world has become much more data dense. And so that has had a substantial impact. It's on... aged constant. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> So we, we basically, in the data now, see a lot more than we used to before. So there's less guesswork involved, I think, you know. Um, so that's an important, you know, long-term trend. Uh, that, but the thing that seems to me that you don't see in the data is, this, is the potential for rising systemic risk associated with trade frictions and other things.